second here, and it is my great privilege and honor now to introduce our keynote speaker. Please come, sir. Uh, Dr. Sharfuddin Ahmed, sir, is, uh, we are very privileged, sir, that you are able to join us today. Sir is uh, um, the incumbent vice chancellor of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University in uh, Dhaka in Bangladesh. Sir has served as pro vice chancellor of administration at uh, BSMMU and he is the secretary general of the Bangladesh Medical Association, the BMA. He is of course uh, an ophthalmologist and he is going to be speaking on international fellowship examinations and career options after post graduation. Sir, you are most welcome and uh, please, you may. Good evening to you all. This is the post lunch meeting and I think everyone is sleepy. Uh, before my starting of this talk, uh, I had one joke. One is that if any person uh, cannot read, but the ophthalmologists say, read this line, and he, if he cannot, you can say that you, have, uh, you are uh, totally blind or you have cataract. But when the person will say, I am illiterate, I cannot read, then what will be our situation? In this gathering, I want to say that anatomy and physiology, it is very uh, not liking of any students. And also this medical education, even postgraduate medical education, is not so much touchy to anyone. Uh, the respected panelists and the uh, ophthalmologist and the future uh, ophthalmologist who wants to get the post-graduation, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, one thing I want to start with, that successful people never stop learning. We should uh, think of this one. Today, I want to share with you some of the uh, considerations of post-graduation, why, when, and how, and what are the financial support, and what is the situation of your family? How will you go forward? Uh, not only UK and USA, there are a lot of countries we can go, in Australia, in Japan, in Africa, already you have uh, heard from it. And in my country, we have five years MS. But in your country, MD in AIMS, three years, and MS also, three years in some of the institute, and DNB, three years uh, in some of the institute. Uh, there are a lot of uh, degrees in uh, my country. Once upon a time, you all know about the DOMS, Diploma in Ophthalmic Medicine and Surgery from Austria. They came and they were the first ophthalmologist in the world. Uh, I will uh, remember that there was uh, some of the DODLO. Uh, at the same time, two degrees were there in the same person. They were the ENT specialist and also eye specialist. Uh, in my country, there is the only uh, I have started that one, the Community of Ophthalmology MS degree. It is not in India. But I think uh, there are dip, dip, diploma in ophthalmology, there is diploma in Community of Ophthalmology in my country, and the five years MS course, I have heard that all the prerequisites, part one, part two, OSCE, OSPI, MCQ, VIBA, and clinical examination like FRCS in my country, it is the CANMED. Uh, we are, in my university, we are giving this five years course. I think, uh, I am thinking today, that why it is not clinical PhD? That's because basic PhD is everyone interested. But if I make this five years course, we can make it clinical PhD in ophthalmology. In future, that will be uh, more interested by some of the young ophthalmologists. Uh, we can make a set that there is the paraclinical, basic, fellowship, master degree, diploma in every area. And in the UK, there is GP and a specialist. Uh, in my country, I have already told about that basic, paraclinical, clinical. There are some fellowship also. After passing MS, we have one year fellowship for either in ophthalmology, retina, glaucoma, cornea. They have the uh, study uh, pattern. And the people uh, who are in residency, they have the entrance examination after one year MBBS and then one year clinical. Then uh, there will be the phase A for two years rotation, 
and after completion of phase A exam, the three years rotation in particular subject and there will be the phase B examination. Along with this, there is the thesis uh, in uh, this MS examination. And uh, there are also one college, FCPS, and uh, the uh, BCPS is the college that is also giving another FCPS with entry lateral direct examination and three years rotation in particular subject. There are uh, uh, MPhil and diploma in other subjects, and also uh, there are the opportunities you have already heard about in United Kingdom, USA, Canada, Australia, and also Japan and China. And uh, in uh, uh, Africa also, there are some areas for post-graduation. Uh, but the salary, average yearly salary for a specialist, uh, uh, there is highest in Canada and also uh, in Australia, they are, uh, are getting much more, but we don't want to leave the country. We want to get our degree and we want to serve the people of this country for the prevention of blindness. Uh, there are some uh, Australian Medical Council, they are giving some of the post-graduation. Uh, there is needed of ILTS and without examination club, you cannot attend in any post-graduation. And there are the MRCS, MRCP, MRCOG, uh, MRC, uh, FRCS, FRCOP in uh, uh, UK. There is also MRCP, entry examination. They can come and after four years, they have the uh, uh, another, after MRCS, they can also training and get the post-graduation. There is needed a club. Now, uh, after uh, getting the post-graduation, you see, in our country, uh, what was our past situation? I told about the DOMS. In the Indian subcontinent, you all know, uh, we are the pioneer in cataract surgery in the whole world. Shusrota, who uh, was born in uh, Bikrampur, now it is in Bangladesh. At that time, it was Indian subcontinent. We started by couching. And it was the past cataract surgery couching and also by giving uh, Kabliwala from Afghanistan. They were selling their uh, spectacle. Uh, uh, each and every house and then which one is corrected, that can be used. Nowadays, you see, uh, this uh, couching have uh, turned into faco surgery and within uh, 10 to 20 minutes, we are earning a lot. And in future, I'm thinking that artificial intelligence will come up and robot will take over. But we are the man behind the machine. Uh, with the machine learning and deep learning, we should be uh, trained much more. As Because today, some patients come and say that in Google, I got that this drug should not be given as because there is a lot of uh, side effects. So we should be alert enough that even in surgery, there should not be any mistake. Otherwise, uh, they can sue against us. So, uh, previously, you see in machine learning, in ophthalmology, uh, CT scan, uh, OCT, and FFA, all these are the machine learning. Nowadays, I think in future, a robot will come up. And uh, for the treatment of keratoconus or uh, the cataract surgery, also uh, there uh, should be uh, some of the lasers which will be given by the robot. That is the future of uh, the post-graduation uh, in ophthalmology. So uh, we should be alert enough, and I hope uh, in this way, ophthalmology should come up. The uh, ophthalmologists who are not yet still only after uh, MBBS, they should come up as because prevention uh, is uh, going such, uh, uh, increasing much more as because in, uh, in our country, we have 16 crore people, there is 160 million. We have 1,300 uh, uh, ophthalmologists. In your country, I think 15,000 ophthalmologists are in India, but it is not sufficient, as because the increasing diabetic retinopathy and increasing life expectancy will cause much more uh, ophthalmic problems and blindness. And everyone should come up uh, to treat it and ophthalmologists should be much more than nowadays. Uh, if anyone is not interested, 
uh, they should come up. I'm thinking that in my country, the ophthalmology subject is not much uh, interested by anyone. Why, I don't know. Even it may be in India. So I uh, proposed that in future, if necessary, there should be given incentive. Otherwise, the prevention of blindness will be hampered in all the countries. That should come up. We have already learned about the training. We have learned about the uh, degrees. Uh, FICO, it is also going on in my country. Uh, FACS, FRCS, American College of Surgery, uh, I mean, uh, surgeons and FRCS, all are uh, getting their uh, degrees. But the main thing we should remember, degree will not give me anything. Learning is a must. Where we are getting the training, that should be 100%. Otherwise, this uh, uh, degree will not give me uh, bread and butter. I think uh, my talk is like that. Everyone should be sincere in their learning, in their training and teaching. Along with this, the thesis should be a research oriented as we can prevent the diseases, ocular diseases, that will be helpful uh, and that will be the movement for prevention of blindness. Uh, I am very much uh, grateful to AIOC as because you have invited me, uh, especially uh, President Lalit Bharma and also uh, Namrata Sharma, Secretary General, uh, and also Partho Vishas. I am grateful to them, including all the organizers who have invited me. With these few words, thank you very much for patient sharing. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I think you shared a wonderful perspective, both from a public health standpoint as well as from an individual uh, student standpoint, and I think uh, that was very valuable. If there are any questions on any of the talks that uh, anybody has, we would love to take those questions. Or if anybody has any comments and uh, statements, we can hear, we can share they, they can share them as well. Uh, with that, I hand over to Dr. Pranita for closing remarks, and we can then conclude the session. So I think we have had a wonderful session and a nice interaction that we have had with the audience. And I hope we have given some information and insight about these exams and brought in some clarity in your uh, minds about these exams. So with that, we'll close this session uh, for today. And we are always open to your questions over dinner and lunches in the subsequent days.